All right, here we are. Convict garage, Van Stavern's convict garage and lay down yard. A gentleman had suggested I get a camera stand and here I am without one. <laughs> oh well, he wanted to see what this shit looked like live. Well, there you go. There's the damn fence four, four to six feet outside the property line. Probably gonna make y'all puke up with this painting. See this son of a bitch right there is leaning out. It fell over. You see other videos of mine. Look back, look back through there, through my videos, and you'll see where it's fallen over before. Ah, there it's about to fall over again. This is where they're uh, look like termites, like ants or termites. They're just uh, dissecting this Chevy Suburban right here. I guess they're going to get parts out of it or scrap it. All these people looking for, for, for people to go to work for $25, 30 $35 an hour, man. We get some training over there at Community College there in Texas City. And these mother, they got, they got, they're just going to be bums and weed smokers and a bunch of junk. They're going to make their money scrapping. Well, ferrous metal is like $10 for 100 pounds. Not very good. There you go, they take over everything. It's always these welfare bums, unemployed, hood rat, gangbanger types. Like termites, they take over everything. Look at that filthy mess. You see that, you idiots at Houston, Texas Environmental? I'm going to be exposing you cock... Yeah, real soon. I'm going to be exposing you real soon, you dumbasses. You inept city freaks. Don't even know how to do your job. Anytime you want, I'll come up there and show you how to do it. Bunch of damn office weenies. They're worthless and miserable. Give me a run around and tell me there's nothing wrong over here. Now, where's the soil samples, lady? Where are the soil samples? You didn't take any? Oh, and you gave them two weeks notice? You can see the video of there cleaning it up. And you come out here and parade it on your little lottie da field day with the landlord and the lawyer and you sashaying around and you didn't even go on the property. This is why we need to get rid of most of our government. Government is best when it governs the least. The more government increases, the more liberty decreases. These are from our founding fathers. Yeah, them slave owners is what they teach them little kids in school now. Good God, they do this on, see, like my neighbor said, one way they do this on Friday because they know the city hall is shut down. I don't want this shit in front of my house anymore, Mayor Bell, Chief Arrogant, Lonnie Cox, you hear me? You miserable. I'm sick of death threats. I'm sick of my house being shot up with pellets in my car, and you won't do a thing. You protect the, the, the dregs of society over the property owners. And yes, Raymond G. Taylor, you slumlord, I'm going to expose you for the creepy little nasty snot-nosed shit that you are. You understand me? All right, I better calm down. I get, Kitty Cat is all upset. She thinks I'm mad at her. D. Ray Shoss. I ain't got no right using that property. It's a utility right away for the power company and gas company. And on the other side of that is owned by Texas Independent School District. All right. All right. There we go. All right, dude. You wanted an update on what this place looked like. It's, it's, this is what's called a distressed property. It's damn near a teardown. But it can be brought back. There's no floor in that house. It was uh, flooded by the last idiot that let the uh, bathroom drain run. Gee, Ray. No wonder they got all their lawn furniture and everything out in the front. No wonder that they can't enjoy this. Oh, and here's another thing. My idiot shyster lawyer, Robert Clements, who ripped me off for an unbelievable amount of money that did nothing more than what a law clerk could do. 
You moron, you office morons. That's an engine lift. That's a four by six on there. That's used to pick engines up out of cars. That's that's not a little rinky dink little uh, Mickey Mouse stand for a tarp. That is an engine lift. Yeah, don't ever mess with lawyers. State bars involved with them. A state bar is supposed to be a, a, a regulatory police agency. That's bullshit. It's nothing but a good old boy club. A good old boy club. You understand me, Lonnie Cox? Your system is broke. It is broke. It is not for the little man. It's for the lawyer and the politician and corporation. And one day, maybe we'll rise up and hang all you miserable bastards that have subverted the Constitution and you have subverted the law. There is no more rule of law in this country. Because if there was, the scumbag commie known as Eric Holder would be on the end of a rope. He's still in contempt of Congress today for not answering questions why he spent your tax money on Fast and Furious for guns that went to drug narcos and it was killed Brian Terry, a Border Patrol agent with one of those weapons. And if you go back and do the research on it, there was many operations like this, just not fast and furious. There was even one in Chicago. Wow. We got to get rid of these commie scum. Democrats are scum. They're commie scum, and we need to get rid of them. There you go. I don't want this seven years now. Seven years today of this shit. Put it in front of your house, Mayor Bell. Gracious. Look at this shit over there. And yes, it's full of rats, Raymond G. Taylor. You blithering idiot. You affirmative action moron. <clears throat> Bug poison does not kill rats. Do you understand me, you evil snot-nosed little shit? I'm going to expose you too before this is all over. You and a dumb bent Jody Ann Greenwood. Goddamn, unbelievable. I wish I had a recording of that.